Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jason Avery. I'm a Hampshire Fire and Rescue Service uh, officer, and uh, I'm going to talk you through this scenario as it develops in front of you this afternoon. Uh, as you can see, we've uh, quite a disaster in front of us. A large uh, vehicle, uh, an articulated lorry carrying uh, petrols, collided with a building uh, and created a mass casualty environment. Uh, the vehicle itself is says carrying petrol and the building itself is a building within the critical national infrastructure. As you would imagine, an incident of this type is complex, it's unusual and would attract a mass number of treble nine calls to control centres uh, in its location, whether that's to police, fire or ambulance. Uh, but identified that the driver of the articulated lorry is actually wearing a improvised explosive device which changes the dynamics of the incident considerably and first responders have been alerted by using whistles as opposed to radios that might actuate a device such as this to retreat to a place of safety where we would liaise with military colleagues who would now take primacy at this incident to render the device safe. And at this point I'd like to hand over to Bert who's going to talk you through that. As just said now, the uh, first responders have withdrawn and the explosive ordnance disposal unit has been called out with the uh, officer represented in Silver Command. A safety cord will be established at a distance to keep the public and the first responders a safe distance from a potential explosive threat. In order to counter the threat of a radio control device, directly in front of you, you'll see the deployment of an Allen Vanguard Scorpion II electronic countermeasure unit. This provides a very high level of protection against the whole range of known threats. Scorpion 2 is the latest generation of Allen Vanguard's flexible, software-defined electronic countermeasures. It can be used in this role, explosive ordnance disposal, or the wider protection of a security force. Having declared the area safe from explosive threat, the EOD team would now withdraw, the fire rescue service, heart team and ambulance service would now return to the location and continue normal operations. Thank you.